You know what? I, I, I've been really impressed with him. The one thing I've, I've really seen, that they made a couple moves in the offensive line since the first time we played them. I think these guys are blocking really well for them. I, I see it. Their feet, their movement, they, they know exactly, they, they got an identity on offense in terms of what they're running, how they're running. I see their receivers block. I've been really impressed with that. So uh, he's a special guy, boy. I mean, he's tough in space. He's tough inside. You know, we, got a, we got a major challenge. What'd you do well against them week two? I thought what we did, we really hit our gaps well. And then the one thing we have to bring to the table every week is our pursuit. Because we had some guys missing, okay? But it was the second, the third, and the fourth guy that keep those runs from being long runs. That's the key for us in space. Guy can cut back in space, make you miss. You've seen him, you know, so it's, one is tackling in space, but you got to assume, you, you know, this guy's going to miss. You can't ever believe that one guy's got him and slow down. We got to have 11 guys pursuing the ball and staying on our feet. Good to see Crawford up there today, just warming up out there. Saying that you guys yeah, he's just uh, out there. Uh, he's old, uh, get the old neck crick ready to go here. Cricket neck. <laughs> and uh, he's, he's fine. What will you miss from not having him this week? Oh, I, I think leadership. You know, he's a leader. Uh, versatility, tough, you know, I mean, so physical in the run game, and he's a good inside rusher, been a really good inside rusher all year. So these other guys get opportunities, we got to step up. Leighton won the 2018 Bob Lilly Award. Can you just talk a little bit about the impact he's had on defense and what an accomplishment that is in his rookie season? Oh, yeah, there's no question. I th the thing is, it's been impressive to me with him. I haven't seen him hit a rookie wall. You, you see, and that's the same with this back we're playing. I, I don't see a rookie wall where all of a sudden the guy starts tailing off. He's gotten better as the season gone on. I mean, it's been impressive. Really smart, I mean, physical. He's just, he's a, he's a playmaker. He's really a playmaker. And every honor he gets, is, it's, he's earned it. Rookie wall, do you, do you view that as kind of a real thing? Like when guys get to the end of what would have been a college season? You know, I've, I've seen it, I, I don't know, we, we, they don't play as well at the end of the year. Yeah. You know, the grind of the season, and uh, we practice our pace and our tempo is hard, very demanding on them. And these guys, all of our young guys, have been really good, you know, and uh, that's a credit to them. Coach, there's been a lot of talk about Richard with other coaching jobs. How valuable he's been, has he been to you? Oh, I've said, you know, I stated that the very first day he was here. Unbelievable. I, I just think the guy is, uh, I'll say it again, I think he's really special. <laughs> bright, knows the game of football, but can communicate it, and he's a great teacher. I mean, he brings a lot to us, you know, and a uh, special guy. Rob, what, what makes Randy so effective? You know, I, I think, one, he's he's got that. You, you don't find those guys in the draft very often when they come. The guys that can, that he's fast, okay? But he's got explosion, the, the twitch and the quickness off the ball. He's got elite bendness where he can really bend. Then he's got awareness and instincts, and though you, that's what you look for. If you put it all in, in a, um, a bottle, that's what you're looking for. His feet are exceptional. His quickness, boom, that's how he changes direction so quick. And now with him, it's just reps. He's been able to practice here for the last seven, eight weeks consistently. You know, he hadn't been injured or whatever, missed a couple of days in practice. And that's, that's how any player grows. That spin and the sack, which he was penalized for, is that an example of the footwork? Footwork, balance, awareness where the quarterback is. I mean, it, that was a, it was a trick. He's just like Gumby a little bit. I mean, he hits you and he stays up. He doesn't fall down. Really good athletes. Watch him. You know, I always chart OGs in a game on ground. And I chart guys when I evaluate them. I want to see who's on the ground and why. And uh, it tells you a lot about a guy. When you reviewed that play, after watching it, any alteration in how you're viewing what, yeah. if he did anything incorrect? Uh, oh, no, I thought he, he tried his very best to do what we coached him to do. You know, we, we worked real hard on that. And, uh, you know, they got a tough job, the officials. You know, they got to see it quick. So in the film, you just shrug your shoulders to him? I, I yeah, kind of, <coughs> I just said, you know, he, he hit it, I, you know, as we teach it, that's how we're kind of teaching it. And I thought he he did everything in his power, but, you know, it's how they see it, too. Does it surprise you that the people in New York are trying to run Eli out of town? Trying to who? Run Eli out of town. 
the people in New York are like, we're ready to move on from Eli. That's surprising. Oh, wow. You still see the same? Oh, man, he's a warrior. I mean, he's been the MVP of the league. He's been, uh, got two Super Bowls. And every time we play him, we're, we're, we got to be locked in. We know what this guy is now. He's a winner, and he's got a, still got a terrific arm. He knows what to do with the ball. How different are they without Beckham out there? Well, anytime you lose a great, be a, if we didn't have a guy like Law up, it's going to affect you. He's an impact player, a great player. Tell you what, I've been watching those guys block, and I, I'm 87 and him blocking downfield on the run. I've been impressed now. I've been really impressed. And uh, that tells me something how they're, what they feel about that running back. Coach, we're a little bit of a different division game in the sense that we've got like Philly and Washington. Yeah. Back to back. Relatively close. Now you put the yeah. 14, 15 weeks yeah. the first time. So you have to go in with the mindset of looking at these guys with a fresh set of eyes. Just about, yeah. And I, I just think their identity and I, uh, offense has been really good. You know, they've, but has it changed since week two, kind of? Not, not really. The passing game, the runner, to me, the runner's getting in the groove. So some of the bend back plays they run. But I mean, it's you can fit these runs up, but you don't know where he's going. You know, you just got our thing is we got to be disciplined in our gap control, press our gaps up the field, and trust that each man is going to do his job. And then you got to get off blocks and run. So with Barkley, it's not necessarily that they've expanded his repertoire, but maybe he's just seeing more. He's and just in the he's playing with such great awareness and instincts. You know, it's uh, he's a lot like a bigger Barry Sanders type, as I see it. You know, though he's got that great jump cut, and you could go into a game. I mean, we played him way back a couple of times, and hey, you think you've done a good job on him for the first 25 plays, and in the last two, you get your head nice. You know, it goes right by you for a touch. This guy's got a touchdown every time he's touching the ball. Yeah, you got to think that way on defense. So we got to make sure we're on on this cruise, boy. And uh, the last thing you want to do is not have great run defense this time of the year. you got to keep playing the run because uh, the, the teams you start to see all have great running backs now. They all have runners. Excuse me. Um, Antoine Woods, when did you know you might have something with that guy? Uh, really, it was when he came back and he had lost the weight. I said, this guy, is, you always tell guys to do it, and they come in and, oh, I missed it by 13 pounds or something, you know. <laughs> and. Uh, he came in like that. But he, just because you lose, I could go lose weight if you ask me to. But I can't play defensive tackle. Yeah, I think that he made a statement that he wants to. That's what I see. First of all, that's a commitment, and he was committed to doing what we asked him to do. And so, first of all, I see that, and then you could see his snap after that. He lost some of that weight in his quickness. What we look for that quickness, overlap, and stuff. And the thing is, you don't realize I've been on him now for a couple of weeks. He's a, he's a good pass rusher, a very good pass rusher. And I don't know if anybody's ever told him that. He, this guy's quick and he's athletic. So he, he's got to keep expanding his game and uh, for the benefit of our team. But he is tough. In camp, he was like a bull out there every day. Every single day he came out working. So was there a particular day, though, in camp, preseason game, where you said, I, th I thought it was in camp. I just, the run, I got him in there and he was just knocking the center backwards and making plays and, nine, and the pod drills. And he just kept constantly showing up. And the consistency is what jumps out at me. It was every day. He, and the one thing is, I think you, you're talking to him, he's extremely bright, very bright. And he's like the golden cock, very, 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 very smart. And uh, so he's got a. We, we've been very fortunate to have him. Yeah. Really like him. How much do him and Malik Collins, when they're playing the way that they have been playing, how much does that make it maybe a little bit easier on Layton and, and Jalen oh, yeah. in the run game? No question, because these guys, whether they're upfield, they, they, that low center, grab good feet, good base, good hips, boy, and they can disrupt the line of scrimmage, what we want. They're not sideways guys, they're explosive guys up the field, and which starts to disrupt you know, blocking patterns and guys that are pulling, they're disrupting those guys. It's everything for us. All works together. Was that the only thing that was really missing for you guys up front against the Colts when it seemed like you guys, that was just, that game was just so no. much different than any other yeah. game you guys had? We didn't, uh, we didn't establish our, our penetration, our get off up the field. And like my statement was, we didn't pursue like we normally do. And that's, 
That is a backbone. It's not some new diagram or something like that. It's every week we got to work hard as players and coaches to keep instilling the standard of effort that we have. And that's hard stuff now. Yeah, it's, it's easy to draw up something on the board, let's go do this. This is day in, day out, every day grind. With what you've been able to do with this defense, where does it uh, rank maybe in your career with jobs you've done with, with other defenses and, and being able yeah. to get them to this level? I, I, the thing, I don't know if I could rank or anything, I, I just think the speed and explosion we have is what I'm used to. You know, uh, the, how the t temperament and the speed and the hitting. You know, the hitting is really, really, we, number one goal every week, out hit the opponent. We want to out hit people. The game of football is still about hitting. And I thought 54 was incredible last week on that. Because you know, there's windows, right? You got holes in the defense at times. Well, I, the holes, you make daylight evaporate. <clears throat> you close with speed. The rush makes it come out, they close. After a while, the guys don't want to catch it. When you say what you're used to, do you mean in terms of personnel-wise, their speed and talent level, or do you mean speed what you're used intensity. to in, in terms of, yeah, in terms of the that intensity. Intangible? Yeah, that intensity, that love of football. I think the togetherness of this defense, these defenses are built on togetherness and trust. I mean, you look horrible if some couple guys aren't doing their job, things are breaking on you. But I think the trust that they can break on the ball if they trust the rush, and the rush has got to believe they're going to cover them down for them. They've got to be able to trust if we're running a pirate, the ball, where the ball is going to be directed. The whole defense is based on trust. Are you still enjoying doing your job as much as you did maybe when you first started coaching? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. God, man. It's best. I don't, know. I don't know anything else would be as good. There's nothing. Do the, the players contribute to that? Do they, I don't know, maybe keep you young or keep you keep you energized? Well, I think I keep them young. Okay. <laughs> and uh, and I, I just I don't I just can't see anything better than this mm -hmm. in the world. <laughs> in the world, I, I can't see it. And be able to work with these men and hopefully impact their lives and make them better people and being around the game of football done right. It's the best thing ever. Thank you very much. Appreciate and it. And visiting with us.